Welcome back to the show, guys. I'm your host, Valentine. Expecting you guys are having a wonderful day. We're going to get into something a little bit controversial today. We're going to, well, almost everything is controversial, man. Um, but, bro, I'm going to test you. You're going to get tested right now. I'm going to give you a, are you a racist test? But we're going to, this is a very complex topic, which I've actually, incredibly, after a little bit I've been, I've been thinking about, you know, this is something that never passed through my mind maybe two, three years ago, but now it's everywhere. So we got to think about it. And we're going to talk about why if some person, a certain color of the skin say something, it's not considered racist. But if another person says something is considered racist, we're going to talk about two controversial figures. I'm going to show you the first one. And you're going to tell me if this guy's racist. And then I'm going to show you the second one. And then you're going to tell me if that guy is racist. The first one is Dr. Umar Johnson. And look what he has to say here. This is an interview in The Breakfast Club. He's obviously talking about race. This is all going to be about race. And why is it right for one race to say something? But when the other race says something, then it's we have this double standard. And, and and to be honest, and to be honest, I don't know if I'm not saying it now. I don't know if these both I'm, I, I, and I'm let me make let me let me give a disclaimer right now. I don't know these two individuals full, full of views. So in no way, listen up. In no way, shape or form, I am endorsing the views of none of these individuals. I don't know if these people are truly racist. I don't know. They might be just looking out for their people. And is that wrong? I have no idea. I have no idea. But they're looking out for their people. Listen. Yeah. Talking something that I think is relevant for us. What did you think of Kamala Harris? I don't vote for black people who are not married to black people. I, I think gonna we You don't vote for black people who are not married to black people kamala harris i think she's married to a white guy that. <laughs> right right okay you, you so she wasn't it. going to get my vote anyway what if she had a, what if she had all the plans for black people that we talk about but was still married to a white person she could not have because you can't mix oil and water <laughs> so if a black woman is you can't you can't mix oil and water he said he, he literally saying that you cannot mix black and white together and i think Charlemagne says just mm, like well that's nothing committing her life to a white male understanding what the white male population has done to black people in this country that right there tells me how serious you are about us For stop it man about the white male was, has done to this country um yeah but not that white male maybe his great 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 grandparents maybe did something who knows but not that white male that Kamala Harris is married to right so and he's very pro-black, pro, you know, very Afrocentric. Great, great for him. Great, no problem. How about this guy? I don't know, not, not too much about Jared Taylor. Jared Taylor is, I don't know if he's the owner, editor, uh, distributor of American Renaissance. And... He's been categorized by the some organization like I think this uh, Southern Poverty Law Center as like an eloquent racist because the guy speaks well. He's a very well educated man, to be honest. And I don't know if this man is racist. I don't know Jared James Taylor, but what he's doing, you're going to see what he's trying to do right here. So, so you want to live in a, in a this is this is an interview with Jorge Ramos in 2017. Let me start it again. So, so well, you want to live in a, in a white-only country? Not necessarily white-only, but no. a country that is clearly based on a European model in which whites will basically remain the overwhelming majority. Predominantly white. He wants to live in a predominantly white uh, society. In perpetuity. Okay, how do you achieve that? Well, that's an excellent question. Donald Trump has got some first good steps in mind. Mm -hmm. He wants to make sure no more illegal immigrants come into the country. I agree with and that. And he wants to make sure that all illegal immigrants here go back. 
He wants to end that. birthright citizenship. He no, wants to no, put no, at no, least no. a temporary ban on Muslim immigration. What happens with, with Asians? What happens with uh, African Americans? What happens with Latinos? What happens to my You presented people? me with a very limited view of listen, the United listen, States. Listen. You're saying the United States is a place anybody can come and turn it into anything you want, and the people who built this country and established its institutions, if they glimmer away, so what? He's also advocating for his people, yet he's considered a racist. Who's right and who's wrong? He, he, he wants to make sure that the United States, people just don't come and trample in the United States and do whatever they want, turn the United States into whatever they want. Same type of concept. That Dr. Umar is, he wants for his people. You can go see the interview, the whole full interview at the Breakfast Club. Dr. Umar, he's trying to make sure that the black community rises up where they should be at. You know? And he believes that there's institutions and, and uh, you know, and, 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 and processes that are... <laughs> there to hold down the black community so he's defending the black community 100 percent unapologetically jared uh taylor is representing the white community unapologetically yet he is labeled a hate a monger and dr umar as far as i know is just a regular person we live in a world where in you, you could have BET, Black Entertainment Television, but if you have YET, no problem. You can even have Latino ET, there's no problem. The second that you have um, YET, oh no, that's uh, white supremacist, white nationalist, which nationalist is not even a bad word, but they have taken it to be a bad word. Nationalist is just you, you're pro your country, and I think you should be pro your country. Why can't you be pro your country? Guys, I, I mean, let me know what you guys think. I mean, this is very interesting, in, in my opinion. I mean, I know people. There, there, there is a, there, there is a level when you when you're dealing with society, you know. When you leave, when you're dealing with racism in particular, that people don't wanna express their views 100 percent of what they feel is correct. Groups in general, groups they 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 go for it. people. Groups tend to be together or nationalities tend to be together with the people that they know you see it here for example there is uh you know in in new york city there there is a you know a a a a, a uh, what what you call it a neighborhood right washington heights where it's just full of dominicans you have a neighborhood which is full of chinese people chinatown you have neighborhoods where are full of indians you know um you have neighborhoods where are full of russians uh, i mean that's just how it is and they tend to be with their own people. Why is it bad? And, and in another video, for example, Jared Taylor goes into, why is it bad if um, the white person wants to be with the white person? I mean, nobody finds it bad if Dominicans want to live with Dominicans or if, you know, Puerto Ricans want to live with Puerto Ricans or if Chinese want to live with Chinese. Nobody finds it bad. The moment that the white people say no, we might want to live in white neighborhoods with white people. That's automatically racist. Guys, let me know what you guys think about this topic. I know it's very controversial, but just let me know what you think. As much as you think, you could let me know. God bless. God speak. Remember to share, to like. I'm Valentine. God, family, country, me.